Well, we are about 10 miles or so southwest of downtown Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the New Orleans Saints and the Los Angeles Chargers. are out there. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A charge of first, there's Herbert finds Williams. He'll look to throw. Finding Williams once more, complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Now it's Herbert. And his throw here's incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 17-yard line. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. That was a lightning-fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately, so he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play, and immediately got to the pass. Going back to Allen, he's got him again. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. Four yards on the play, that's going to lead to first and goal. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Once more, here's Eckler. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down and at the two. From the two now, second and goal. Again, 
Here's Herbert. Touchdown, Chargers! Donald Cunningham, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sideline saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because both sides are out there for ten plays, but one side comes off energized, and the other side comes off with some questions. Boy, so they don't get the conversion, but they're going to go right into the onside kick formation. And the Saints' hands team able to rein this one in. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game, and maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. They've got to steal it and try and gain an advantage, and they tried, they just didn't get it done. On first and 10, Winston. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers are going to get it back here just past the 35. So that a definite deflator there on the interception. Yeah, you work your way down the field thinking you're in position for a go-ahead score. But all it takes is one errant throw, and this one winds up a turnover. The Charger drive about to get going. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown, they got the stop, and now if they could get in the end zone here against CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can, and that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off, because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. On second down, Eckler. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Herbert on third down now. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Give him 12 yards there, and the Chargers have a first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Herbert on first down now. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And the Saints will have solid field position here as they take over at the 45-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. 6 nothing. our score after one. Six yards left on second down. Go 
Winston again, it's Kamara. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sip through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Charger drive about to get going. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. Now left side on the swing pass. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for the offense. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Running on first down, Eckler. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the wall. Second and goal from the run. Eckler again. And he will get in across the truck for a Chargers touchdown. Austin Eckler punching it in from a yard away. And they are able to add on to their advantage. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back.
Gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Jameis to throw it. And he'll get it right back to Washington. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. They'll come to the line. He had only two yards to gain the first here. Washington on third and short. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. down Winston got his man complete over the middle it's Washington second down and four to throw is Winston and that'll be incomplete took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in good hang on third down now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down Up the middle they go, Washington. And some room to it. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Past the 20. Touchdown, New Orleans. Dwayne Washington, 64 yards. And the Saints get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, this headed into the good. locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed, and a lot of football, full half to be played. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Take it in at the three. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Charger drive about to get going. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. Over throw going into the hands of Williams. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. On first down, it's Herbert. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Steps away. Give him another one right back to Allen. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Everyone has their strengths, able to move to their right or their left, being able to throw the football. So that means you've got to work on both because you never know which way you're going to get flushed by pressure. In this situation, able to escape to his left and makes an accurate throw. And it's caught. Uh, he's going to be brought down a few yards short of the goal line. And they're going to be unable to stop the clock from here. 
so close yet so far. And that's going to be how this first half will come to an end. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. A gain of three, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, Washington. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Winston now. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Well, that would be the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Now Winston. Looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And he brings this one back. It's a big six and a Charger TD. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. I think that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate that those defenders get to add to the lead directly. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The 
the Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Well, remember they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes partner I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six. Well he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown New Orleans. They've done a good job of holding him down in the first half, but he explodes for a big one right there. Yeah, I've got an image in my head of him being surrounded by a bunch of people, really, with ropes and other things trying to keep him locked in. But eventually they got tired, too. And just as you noted, he broke out. And it's a guy that usually you can only keep down for so long. Alonzo looked to add the extra point. That's up and good. It's After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Give this one to Eckler. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Play action. It's Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him the football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best. He keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know? Make him make someone miss in the open field. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Throwing on second and eight. Herbert. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Herbert. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to make it a two-score game. 
And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to one score game. I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try to get the ball back again. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And did he get in? No! They'll mark him out at the one-yard line. A big-time play there for New Orleans. 46 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Camara. Is going backwards here. They come in and drop it all the way back with the four-yard line. Again, Camara. Not a whole lot there as they'll get him down at about the two. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Sometimes I get caught not properly, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. And I don't think Kamara got there. Looks like they stopped him short. A loss of a yard, and it brings up Ford. And you know it pains them to be this close. And you know they're going to want to go for it here. But they absolutely have to kick the field goal and get this back to a one-score game. It's only logical. That is caught by Alave. Touchdown, New Orleans. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Saints have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. From his end zone, here comes Carter. The Charger drive about to get going. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, 
what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. A gain there of 21 yards. These guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Up the middle with Eckler. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Herbert going to keep it on the sneak. And he is going to have the Chargers first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. I don't know about you, but I like this call. Third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front, just go ahead and take it, move forward, and pick up the first down. And as we say often, it shows confidence in your offensive line. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. A handoff, it's Eckler powering forward. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23 yard line. 10 yards is the pickup there, and that should just about put a bow on this one. It's Eckler again. 65 yards on the ground for him so far. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. From the 17, here's second and four. Gun with Eckler. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. On third down, here's Eckler. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to swell the lead to six. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then. 